let's take a look at our Easter kit. We've got a treat bag and it's already sewn for you. You can see all the edges are sewn. It's got a little pink edge. It's got some circles. So we should have four circles. We've got some bunny ears. We've got some eggs. We've got six eggs. We've got two craft sticks. We've got another round stick, a sponge, and we should be ready to go. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna start with our bag, our ears, and the bigger circles. So let's take our eggs, our little, little circles, and set those aside. And let's take this little triangle, which is gonna be our nose for our bunny, and set that aside too, because that's gonna be a different color. So since these are all gonna be the same color, we're gonna start with that. So we're gonna take this, and because this is our biggest surface, we're gonna start with this, and we are going to start with this paint. And if you squeeze this out, this has you can see it has a pointy end already, and I'm just gonna squeeze that out onto there. And you can see it comes out in the line. That's why you have this sponge. So we're gonna take this sponge, and don't worry if it doesn't cover everything, we're just gonna spread this around. And if we don't have everything covered, we can add some more later. Now if you want to, you can do this on a paper plate as well. I just figured why not go ahead and do it directly on our bag. And there's a reason that we're using this particular paint. And I will tell you, you wanna make sure that you're using something below your surface to Cover, you don't want to do it directly on your table. Just in case it stains. And if you're, you want to have an apron or something on, don't wear your very best clothes is what I'm saying. <laughs> Just in case it stains your clothes. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. Now, of course, if you're using your own paint, you can do whatever you would know your paint and you would know what that would look like and so we're just kind of getting this molted look so that it doesn't look completely flat because it's a bunny right so we want it to look like it has a little bit of texture even though we know that it's flat So now that we've got this side done, you can see I didn't cover all of the areas, but I've got most of the areas covered and it has a nice color to it. Now we wanna make sure and we wanna do, see these little sides here? Because they are gonna show once we fill our treat bag. So we wanna do these sides. And while it will wash off our hands, we wanna be careful not to get it on our clothes. And don't worry about those strings. If they bother you, you can cut them later. But again, we're just getting this, I like to call it a molted effect. We got that side, and now let's do this side. And again, I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm just trying to get that color on there. All right. 
and it dries pretty quickly. I mean, it still has a little bit of dampness to it, but you can flip it over and we can do the other side. And you can see it's not even getting it on that surface. So we're just gonna go right over here. And we're just getting some color on top. And again, I'm just pouncing right on top with the sponge. Now, if you are doing your own thing and you don't have a, a paint bottle like this and you wanted to get this kind of a look, what I would suggest is to put some paint on a paper plate and just take the sponge and dab that paint and then dab your surface to get the same kind of look. It won't have exactly the same, but at least you get the idea. It'll be similar. I think we need a little bit more over here. Okay, now that we have that, one thing I didn't think of is if you want to have, I wanna pull, I'm gonna to wanna to pull this down like so. So I'm thinking I want those edges down cause I kind of like that edge to show down. So I'm just kind of, put my hands in here so I'm gonna do that edge so probably if you want that edge to be the same color and I do I would kind of do that now or probably if you haven't already done so like if you're watching this first I would probably have folded it down first and then done this probably would be easier. So if you're watching the video first, I would fold it over first. Just saying. But no worries, it's all good. So I'm just gonna put my fingers in there. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. The thing about art is it's supposed to be fun. And sometimes if we get caught up in it being perfect or looking perfect, then it takes the fun out of it. So we want it to be fun. Okay, so now we've got all our edges covered and we're just going to set that aside to dry. And I'm not worried about the bottom, but I'm just gonna set that aside to dry for now. And let's work on now the ears, cause we're gonna do our ears and these round circles. And the reason that we're doing those round circles is they're gonna be kind of like the eyelids of our bunny's eyes. So let's do those. Let's do those little circles first. And we're really not gonna see the center too much. And there's probably a lot of paint on your sponge already. So you can kind of just rub off that paint and keep that pretty dry. Again, we're trying to match it up with the background. So there's that. And we only need to do one side of each of the ears because we're going to be putting them together Right, like this, we're gonna be gluing them together. So you don't have to do both sides. We just have to do one side of each. So 
So we're really gonna end up with two ears, even though we have four pieces. So let's start going. I'm gonna do two at a time because I'm afraid if I do, if I try to put paint on four, it might dry too fast. So I don't, and I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna do two at a time and see how it goes. And hopefully it doesn't dry up too fast on me. So the reason that I put this particular paint bottle in the kit is because it has that fun tip on there, that pointy tip, and that's gonna come in handy a little bit later when we do, see that worked. Yeah, I think if I would have done all four, it probably would have dried. Um, so it's gonna come in handy later once we start putting details on our rabbit. Get that on here. And see, that looks kind of fun, kind of funky. And then you can decide which two sides you like the best and put those on the front of your rabbit, right? Because those are gonna be the two pieces that show the most that you'll see from the front. Okay, I like it. All right, so we're gonna set those pieces aside to dry. And put that over there. So let's move these and they will dry pretty quickly, but we're gonna put those over there to dry while we work on our eggs. So these are the eyes and the uh, nose and let's work on our eggs. So really, we're gonna work only on one side of each side of each egg because they're gonna be, we're gonna be gluing them front and back together like this, right? And if you want, you can add maybe a little bit of cotton on the inside to make them a little bit um, thicker. So really what you're gonna be doing is decorating six eggs and I put some things inside your kit so that you can have fun decorating. So one of the things that I put inside your kit is I have a white crayon in here. I've got this little um, dauber in here. I've got this little stick in here. You should have a feather in your kit and some washi tape. And everybody's washi tape will be different. And these are some things that you can make some shapes with your paint to decorate your eggs. Now, everybody's paint might be totally different. Um, and you, if you have paint at home, or if you have crayons or you have markers, you can use that as well. So however you wanna do it, you, I'm sure that you'll find fun things that you can add to your eggs at home. I think that would be awesome. So anything that you have already would be fantastic to use. All right, so I'm gonna grab my paintbrush and I'm going to Start with my first color and I'm gonna start with a light color oh well actually I'm gonna start with a crayon so let's show you what these things can do so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw some fun designs some um, let's say let's draw I'm gonna make some polka dots and you can make any design that you want so I'm gonna put some polka dots on here because I think that would be kind of fun. And I'm filling them in and you'll see why in a minute. And then you can paint this any color. I'm gonna start with a yellow. And, oh, let's add 
add some, maybe some, let's put like a pink kind of color over here. I kind of don't like that color pink. Let's try this other color pink. You can use any kind of colors you want. pink so let's use this one if you don't like something you can feel free to change it change colors just because you start something doesn't mean that you have to stick with it especially in art yeah I like this one this one's much brighter can you see those white dots that I colored in there see how awesome that looks that's super fun that's why I wanted something brighter. Well, let's pull in this yellow. Now, something to have on hand when you're doing painting is a paper towel. And I'm gonna grab my paper towel and I'm just going to dab it just a little bit. Oh, I might've picked up too much. Okay, and what's nice about canvas is you can always bend it back into place. So if it's starting to feel like it's curling up on you, you can always just bend it back into place. Now in the middle, I'm just going to blend those two colors together and look at how pretty our egg looks. I really like those two colors together. I think that looks pretty. Looks like Easter to me. So that's with the white crayon in the back. I really like that look. I might have to do that one again because I like it so much. So any kind of designs you can color, you could even write your name on an egg or somebody else's name on an egg. That would be so fun. All right, so something else that you can do is let's say we, let's do a color on an egg. So let's paint a color. So let's go for the screen for this green over here. And we're just gonna put this light green on this egg over here. I'm just gonna try and come across. And paint this green over this egg. Just a light color because we're gonna go over it with another color in a minute and I'll show you why and how. And I don't wanna mess up this egg, so I'm gonna put that one over there because I really like that one. So I'm put this here. And again, I'm just bending it back into place. So now I've got this green egg and I'm gonna take my washi tape and you can have, you probably have any kind of whatever color washi tape you have in your kit. Now you can use your washi tape on your egg as a decoration. If you're gonna use it as a decoration on your eggs, I would recommend that you wait until it's totally dry. I'm gonna use it on here just for painting purposes because I wanna try to do something. And I'm gonna show you really quick. So I'm putting this on here like this. We're gonna tape this down. Now it's probably better to wait till it's totally dry, but we're gonna go ahead and try this anyways because I wanna show you. All right. So now I'm gonna take another color and go right on top with a different color. And we're gonna go right on top and don't worry if you get some on that washi tape, it's okay. Because we're not gonna ruin that washi tape, it's gonna be just fine. Look at that. All right, now we're gonna peel off our washi tape. 
and it's awesome. Look at that, looks pretty cool. Now, the reason that you're seeing that is because it was wet. Now, if it if you want really super straight lines, I would wait until it's totally dry. But I knew that it would do that. I think it looks pretty cool. All right, so there's our second egg. So let's do our third egg. So we still have this cool feather, this cool little, um, I don't know, this little stick here. We've got this cool thing here. So let's see, what else can we do, guys? All right, let's take, let's add another color. First, we're just going to put a first top color down. And we're just going to color the entire egg. Um, actually, I think I'm going to add, I think I'm going to add some blue to that bottom of that egg. Remember, you make the rules. You can change it if you don't like it. You can make it any way you want to. And if you're changing colors, like I just did right now, you see how I just changed colors? In the middle of the egg, a really cool trick. What you can do is take your finger to blend those two colors together. And then it kind of just looks like one is fading into the other. And this is a good time to have that paper towel around. <laughs> Don't wipe it on your clothes. Okay, so it's good to have that paper towel around so that you can wipe it on that paper towel or a baby wipe. Right? I'm wiping it on my paper towel so I don't get it on my other eggs and I don't get it on my clothes. So that looks kind of cool right there. And I think what would look super cool is if I took this feather and I'm going to put this feather, I'm going to paint this feather white and then I'm going to see if I can't make like a stamp. Kind of stamp it with the white. I don't know if it's going to work, but let's try it. Should we try it? I think it would be kind of cool if it works. Okay, so I'm dipping my paintbrush in white. I'm going to paint my feather. Right, I'm painting my feather. And I think it would be kind of a cool mark. Put my paintbrush down. Because I need my fingers. And I'm just going to make this cool mark. <gasps> I like it. Oh, I'm gonna do it again over here. Look, look maybe down here. <gasps> it looks really neat. Look at that. How cool is that? I kind of like it. I think I'm gonna add one more like right here because it still has some paint on it. So I'm just gonna add another one like right next to it. I like it. And you can even, I can even add another one over here. I like it. So there's my cool mark. I'm gonna use my paper towel. Use my paper towel, you guys. Okay. So now we have three cool eggs. And again, as it's drying, it's kind of curling up, but that's okay. I'm just, I'm gonna unroll it a little bit. I'm unrolling it. And this one looks, that looks pretty cool. I think we've got some cool eggs going, you guys. All right, I'm gonna move this feather out of the way. And we've got three more eggs to do. And remember, they don't have to look exactly the same on the front and the back, so no worries, all right? They could be totally different. And that way, you can pick your very favorite, however you like them, 
um, facing out the way that you want because sometimes the coolest things come happen last. You never know. All right, let's get going. All right, let's see. Let's do, we did a pink and a blue and we did purple. Let's go with orange. This way, I have to get this wet. Okay. And I didn't have an orange, so I just kind of mixed the red and the yellow. Hopefully, I'm hoping for the best. Sometimes the mix works, sometimes it doesn't. You never know. So we're just gonna hope for the best. Okay, so here's what's really cool about that little stick. So I'm gonna roll this guy. I'm getting this wet. So if your paint, if you're using, let's say, some acrylic paint or even watercolor paint, if your paintbrush is starting to feel a little bit dry because you are painting on fabric and sometimes the fabric dries out your paintbrush, just get it a little bit wet and it will start working again. And it will blend that right up for you. I kind of like the way that looks. Okay, so let's take this stick. We've got this very cool stick. And so this side has a little tiny tip and this side has a little bit thicker stick. And we're gonna take and make some polka dots. I really like polka dots. I don't know why, I just do. So I'm thinking we can take and make some little dots. And since we did dip this in the, um, the red and the orange, I think we could take this in the red. Let's do the red, I'll use the lid. And I'm, first I'm gonna do the little, and we'll just do these little tiny dots. You can do the big ones or the little ones, doesn't matter. I'm doing them in groups of three. You can do them however you wanna do them or not do them at all and make your own design. Or here's something else you could do too. I'll show you really quickly. Because when you have this little stick, you can take this and make a little flower. See that? If you put five of them together, here I'll show you, I'll switch this out. So there, I've got three right here. I can do five together and then I can go let's say with a different color. Well, let's here, I'll wipe this off and then go with a different color, like let's say the white, and do a little white center. Oh, I like that, that looks cute. Let's do that, let's do the little flowers. So let's make the rest of them little flowers. So we're gonna do five. So we did three, four, five, four, five. Four, five. That was a little sloppy over there. I don't know. Here, let's fix it. <laughs> Four, five. And let's do one more over here. One, two, three, four. Oops, I need a little bit more paint. Five, and then let's do our white centers. White in the middle. Oops, that was a little sloppy, but that's okay. It just shows that it was handmade with love. And how cute is that? Just little flowers, super duper easy. And if you like bigger ones, you could use the other end for those little tips. Okay, super duper cute. Now we still have two more. 
So I want to show you this really cool technique. This one we are going to, now you can always use this washi tape, right? And you can cover, you can take, well, we'll do this. We'll do it with the washi tape. So this washi tape has pinks and oranges, a little tiny bit of a green. So we can take and color this um, with one of our paint colors. So I'm gonna look over here and I'm gonna see what paint color do I have that looks very similar to our thing that we could do. With this actually I do have an orange that would go quite nicely so let's do this so we will do this orange so you could find whatever um, whatever your washi tape is you could paint your egg the background of one of the colors in your washi tape. And we're actually gonna wait for this one to dry. So I want it to be, um, I want it to be super dry because I want that washi tape to stick. So we'll do this one and while this one's drying, we'll do our last egg. We'll do a fun technique for that one. Okay, so this one. And I'm actually going to dab it with a paper towel because I want to I want to try to to make it as dry as possible. Okay, so we're going to leave that one and then this one because we're going to use this washi tape on that one. On this one, we're going to make super duper wet. And here it is why so this one we're gonna wet 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 so I have a spray bottle I'm just gonna wet it right because it is fabric and I'm going to squish it up and I do have some paint on my hands so I'm not worried about it but I'm making it super duper wet and I'm squishing it up in my hands and I do have some paint on my hands it's okay and now I'm gonna open it back up and I do have it looks yucky now right but that's okay because I had some paint on my hands. So now I'm gonna take some colors. And what I want you to think about is you either wanna do blues, greens, and purples, or red, yellow, pinks. So you wanna do the same color family so that your egg looks nice. Because if you mix the colors, then they won't look nice. So again, blues, greens, and purples, or red, yellows, pinks, those kind of color families. So I'm, on most of our eggs, um, we don't have a lot of the blues and greens, so I think I'm gonna go that way with our eggs. I'm gonna put, I'm actually gonna put in here, so I'm putting some blue. Okay, my paintbrush is very wet and this is very wet. I'm gonna put also some purple. I like purple. And maybe a little bit of this other, like a kind of a teal green, not a whole lot. Okay, now our thing is very, very wet and we're gonna take it and then squish it up again. So now I'm being a little bit more careful because I've got a lot of paint in there, but we're just gonna squish it up, right? Squish it up. If you listen very carefully, there is a squishy sound going on because there's a lot of water in there. And we're gonna open it up and look at our egg. 
in. It looks very cool. It looks very cool. I like it. It kind of looks like a tie-dye egg. Now, if your edges do have some um, places where there's no paint, I would say just take that, just like I'm doing right now. So just kind of spread that out because remember, it's very wet. So I'm just kind of encouraging that paint to go to the edge and we wanna wait for that to dry completely. Okay, so now we have this very cool tie-dye looking egg and we're gonna set that aside to dry. So let's check our other egg and it should be fairly dry. I wanna make sure that my fingers are dry because I don't wanna transfer any of that blue onto our orange egg right now. So I'm just checking to see how dry it is. It's pretty dry, so I think that we're safe. So now that this orange egg is dry, I'm gonna use my washi tape and I am going to, uh, let's do, I wanna do a diagonal, I think on it and I'm going to I'm going to put it on the back and tuck that in. And the reason why is because washi tape is not super duper sticky most of the time. So we're going to tuck that in the back. Okay. And put another one on here. And again, tucking it in the back. Oh, look at that, that looks nice. And I think I wanna do one more. It might hang over the edge, I don't know. We might have to trim it. Yep, it's gonna hang over the edge, but I think well, we probably won't see it. So let's do it on the, let's do it on the top. Because on the bottom, we're not gonna see it because it's gonna be in our basket. So I'm gonna, actually, we're just gonna leave it off because you're not, it's gonna, it's gonna be really hard to tuck that in. So we're gonna have that in. So we, now we've got our, our six eggs done. So, now it's time to assemble if your eggs are totally dry. So let's go ahead and set these eggs aside and assemble our basket. Oh, oh let's do this. I almost forgot, I almost forgot our eyeballs. All right, so let's do our eyeballs. So we need to paint this little, this little nose and you can do his little nose whatever color you want to. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do his little nose pink. Um, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it a super bright pink. Just because I can. You can do it whatever color you want to. I mean, I'm talking super bright pink. I might change my mind later, but right now, this is what I'm going with. Okay, and then for the eyes, you can decide what color you want your rabbit's eyes to be. And now if you ever look at a person, if you look at their eyes, you see that they have they have the black part of the eyes and then they have the actual color part of the eyes. So this is the color part of the eyes, right? Because this is going to be the eyelid and then this is the color. We're gonna, we're gonna put this as the color part and then we're gonna take this and use this for the black part. So we're gonna have, we're gonna put this whatever color you want it to be. I'm going to make my rabbit have purple eyes. Were you surprised? I, I didn't think you would be surprised that my rabbit had purple eyes. I just thought it would be kind of fun. 
And right about now, I, I'm thinking I might have to change my my um, nose because I think I want the eyes to be what pops. And I think if I have that bright pink nose, I think the eyes might not pop. And I really want people to look at my rabbit's eyes, not the nose. So I think I might change the, I think I might change the nose. I'm just saying. So something to think about. Okay. So now that we've got the eyes, now we're going to need some black paint for the eyeballs. You're gonna take this dauber, and you're gonna dip it in a little bit of black. And what you want to do is after you dip it in the black, the first thing you wanna do is not, don't just, hit your eye you want to dab it on something else first like I always dab it on a plate or something first like I just did here before I do it on my project that way I know exactly what it's gonna look like like right now I see I accidentally got it on this side and I don't want it on the side so that's why I do it on there first now you can make your rabbit have crazy eyes depending on where you put the eyeball the little eyes so it just depends on how you do it so we're just putting it right down and there we go and let's really quickly I just want to change that color of that pink really quickly. We're just going to tone it down just a hair. Get it here? Oh, that was terrible. Um, okay, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take the same color that we used for the rest of the rabbit. I'm going to take it and I'm just going to go right on top of this color that we used. And really does actually cover but it's a little bit darker because I already had that dark pink under there so I think that will work so it looks a little bit darker okay so that will work all right so now we can start putting our rabbit together all right I've got this black here, so I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna clean my surface so that I don't get my rabbit messy. And I suggest that you do the same just so that you don't get your rabbit dirty with any paint spots that you have here. So I'll be right back. So now that we have a clean surface, we are going to start gluing our pieces together. We're going to glue the ears together and we're going to take that popsicle stick and put it right in the middle of the two ears and mount that together so that it can be stuffed into the basket. We're going to glue our eyes together so that we can put that into it onto our basket as well. And we're going to make sure to push it down nice and hard so that it stays on really well. Any white glue will do. The thicker the better. So if you have at least tacky glue or a fabric glue, that's going to work really well. We're going to use that little triangle for the beak or the little nose there. And push that down as well. Now for our eggs we're going to glue those pieces together and if you do want to put some stuffing in it I would recommend to glue the pieces together halfway around let those dry completely and then when they're completely dry come back and then use the stick to kind of stuff 
either some cotton or some filling into them after it's completely dry and then go ahead and put glue on the rest of the piece and then that way it's going to be nice and stick with it together and then you'll have a little bit of stuffing but you can put it in there without any stuffing at all and it'll look nice I use the stick to kind of shove it in there it works really well a piece of cotton will work really well too and then after you can put some stuffing in there you can use that pink pen to draw some whiskers and it's going to look fabulous a little bit of hair details and it looks great I can't wait to see what you do Enjoy!